What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Wang Gang podcast. This is not the Bruce Wang channel, but it is another extension of that channel. Um, I want to make a po- I've been wanting to make a podcast for a long time, and this is going to be more of the quality that I'm looking for. Like back in the days, the last two videos that I made, I kind of just threw them up. I wanted to to make videos run and gun style, but I think that's going to be a lot harder to do. So that's why I'm going with a more traditional kind of sit down or stand up. I'm standing up right now. I just finished making a video for the Bruce Wang channel and you know, I just want to get this rolling. Right now I'm doing a lot better. More content is getting pushed out at a uh, faster clip, even though um, I don't think the content is A1, A plus style, but you know, I'm trying as best as I can. I don't know if you're going to hear the construction in the back, but um, right now I'm in the studio and uh, my brother's outside doing some work, freaking hammering in some nails. Chose like the best time to do it. But yeah, sit back, relax. We got a podcast out right now. We're going to be doing it. And um, I don't know how long this is going to go, but um, let's just go with the flow and uh, see what happens. So I just finished making a video. And, um, you know, this YouTube lifestyle, it is almost a full time. It's almost a full time job right now. You know, I put in close to 40 hours doing research, filming, editing, and I'm doing it as a one man team. I think that maybe if I can get YouTube to like a 100,000 a year um, income type deal, I will hire somebody. But right now I'm way under that. I got, I probably got to double the amount of income I'm generating to, to be able to even afford like a part-time worker. Um, but yeah, like I've been, I get so inspired by watching a bunch of other YouTubers as well. Some of the big YouTubers that I watch are like financial education, um, credit Brian. He just hit the explore page. Uh, Graham Stephan, Andre Jink. Those guys just hit the explore page as well today. Today is April uh, 14th and uh, we're halfway through April and man, it has been a crazy, crazy month. Hopefully you guys are being safe. Like I am going crazy staying at home and just coming to the studio. Those are the only two things that I do nowadays other than doing some work around the building. I don't have any experience as a contractor. And uh, it's so funny because I talk a lot about this on my other channel, but I'm on YouTube all the time. And whatever I don't know, I would just go on YouTube figure it out. That's where I learned how to do all of my construction work. And um, especially if you want to start real estate investing as well. Like um, one of my future videos that's going to be coming out is one year ago, I bought a rental property. This is my second rental property and it's been running pretty smoothly. Half the six to seven months of uh, construction and rehab and since uh, since October, I've been collecting rents. So for 2019, I had to file a loss on that property just because, you know, half the year was just doing uh, re- um, renovations. But this year, it's going to most likely just be all pure income. And I hired a contractor to do most of the work. And uh, that contractor gave me a really good deal on most of everything that he did. And there was a bunch of little stuff that um, I took on myself just because I want to gain that experience and stuff like that. So I did a lot of the, like I installed the storm door. I did a lot of the, uh, disposal, garbage disposal. They charge a lot of money to throw away, um, garbage and stuff like that, like thousands and thousands of dollars. So if you can just, so that was a, uh, technical difficulty. One of my memory cards was just full. So what I was saying, um, yeah, my contractor charged a lot of money to do garbage disposal and stuff like that. So I just took it upon myself to do a lot of stuff like um, just so I took it upon myself to do that. And um, some other things was just uh, just landscaping. Landscaping is another expense that you can easily do yourself. Uh, you probably don't even need to learn how to. The main part is just to make it look as minimalistic and clean as possible. And that is like half the battle. If I could show you some of the pictures, um, yeah, just stay tuned for that video. I'm going to show you some of the, some of the pictures and, uh, you can tell 
like I put in so much work into that place and um, I saved so much money doing it myself. Um, but if you know, if you have a full time job and stuff, if but if you have a full time job, I can understand you can just pay a, um, a contractor to do everything themselves. One question that I've also been getting a lot about real estate investing is how much should I put down and ver and how much should I invest? Where should I invest? Should I buy a duplex, whatever? For me, I'm that's my bread and butter is to find a duplex or a triplex. Triplex is a lot harder to come by in my area. My brother has one. My my family has some as well. And um, yeah, it's it's difficult to find. But if you live like closer to the uh, city type area, that's where you're gonna mostly find um, duplexes, triplexes. But if you live in the suburbs, you know you're not gonna really find anything there. That's just through my experience. Uh, so I live in a pretty small city in um, Massachusetts. Uh, there's a few of you guys that know exactly where I'm based. I'm still hesitant to actually tell you guys where I'm based because back, back in the day, there was one, I had a stalker, right? So I made a video. I kind of posted like my one of my receipts because I was doing something with like um, cryptocurrency. So I was trying to show in that video that you can use cryptocurrency and you can buy real life stuff. Um, with a card, I think it was like a shift card, but that's um, does that's not the point. The point of the video is I put that little piece of information and that receipt on a video, and this one Brazilian guy tracked me down, found out exactly where I was, found out this exact studio, and that was the most awkward. That was the most awkward meeting because I don't know if he was crazy, if he was gonna, you know, beat me up, if he wanted to come like do something like sexually harass me or whatnot. But uh, yeah, that was a really awkward conversation. And you know, I kind of just thanked him and he just left. So so yeah, it was, so ever since that day, I've been really hesitant to give information on where I am and, and stuff like that. So maybe one day I'll get over that fear because you know, I am in the finance genre on YouTube. And you know, when it comes to money, you know, people want money, people get greedy, and pe when people get greedy, they do really stupid stuff. Like, for instance, some of the stuff that I did, like I invested way too much into risky cryptocurrencies. Back in 2017, crypto was just blowing up. Everything, whatever, if you threw in $1,000, you would get $2,000 in a few months, and um, that's exactly what I did. Like, I threw in up to $40,000 into uh, not just Bitcoin, but other altcoins. And that was one of the craziest decisions that I made during that time. And um, luckily, you know, it kind of, luckily I still have crypto. I still have some Bitcoin. That's all I'm holding now. And um, yeah, that's one of the biggest reasons why I started to invest into stocks. It's a lot easier, less, less risky, and um, with, Investing into companies that produce products and services, you can get cash flow in dividends. When it comes to cryptocurrency, you're never gonna see a dividend. You're never gonna see, like crypto doesn't produce crypto, if you know what I'm saying. But um, if for anybody that's still interested in a, cr a cryptocurrency investing and buying Bitcoin, I recommend only buying Bitcoin and um, links are gonna be in the description for anything related to cryptocurrency. Uh, so yeah, like going, like I've been, since I'm in quarantine, I've been reflecting a lot. And um, I'm just trying to figure out side hustles that I can do on top of YouTube, um, figuring out like um, other businesses that I can open and stuff like that. And one business that I am considering opening is a supermarket. So for anybody that doesn't know, like my family is they're all entrepreneurs. They all have different types of businesses. And one of them is a supermarket. And um, I might have the potential to purchase one of these supermarkets. And um, I think that it would be great content for YouTube. And on top of that, I could make a decent living operating a supermarket on a day-to-day -day business. I mean, as, as a day-to-day -day operation, man. See, that's one thing you guys don't know. You guys think starting a podcast, talking to a camera for a few hours is easy. And, and, uh, but once you kind of just start going, 
like for me, I always get mixed up and I always jumble my words. But yeah, back to the main point. So I think that would be a great way to, you know, show more content, like how to operate a supermarket. It's not a big, super big supermarket like Market Basket. This is like a small time, you know, 3,000 square foot um, commercial building type supermarket. And, and yeah, like I think that would be great content because I've been seeing um, one channel called Investment Joy. If you guys haven't seen his stuff, he is... He's a gr- like, dude, this guy grinds. He makes like at least one video a day, sometimes two videos a day. And uh, he owns laundromats. And all he does is film himself taking coins out of his laundromat and counting them. And they get hundreds of thousands of views. Some of them have millions of views on these videos. And he talks about how he runs the business, how he operates the business, um, how much money goes in and out every single month. And if he made money that month or not, how to fix laundromat stuff. And it's so interesting because, you know, as you're growing up, there's so many things, there's so many ways that you can go to make money. And, you know, laundromat business is something that I've never even considered that you can actually make money that way. And on top of that, if you post content on YouTube about running a business, any type of business, there is a niche for that and you can make um, an additional side income from that. So, you know, you got to get creative in this time, in this day and age. You know, before YouTube, all I was doing, I had a lot of free time before YouTube. But after YouTube, I realized like it, there is a big potential to make um, a lot of money. But you have to put in at least like two years of not making any money uh, before that happened. Yeah, I remember putting up my first few videos and and uh, getting only like 10 views, 15 views and stuff like that. And uh, some of the times when I was watching that video, I was like, wow, 10 views, I would refresh it, it would be 11. Refresh it, it would be 12. And then after a while, I realized, wow, I am that person refreshing the page and getting the views. It's just me. It's not, it's nobody else. So those, like those, um, Videos, you can still see them if you just like go to my first channel. Even if you watch the first uh, few videos of this one, you can see them. And uh, yeah, those like I'm not making any money from um, the Wang Gang channel, but there are ways to make money from podcasts and I'm going to explore them. And uh, this is uh, one of the great ways that I think if I can get a fraction of Joe Rogan style podcasts, advertisement money, sponsorship money, then uh, yeah, that's going to be definitely the way that I'll be going. So, you know, I'm stacking businesses on top of businesses on top of businesses. And, you know, a lot of people out there are grinding. And like a lot of people out there are losing unemployed, just got furloughed. Uh, It's so it's so hard, man. And I can definitely I can understand the hardship and that's why I'm working even that much harder so I can provide for my family. And that's just, um, you know, how it goes. The people that work the hardest, they get the luckiest. That's something that I truly believe as well. And um, so that's why this, that's why this channel is coming about getting inspired by YouTubers, podcasters, and, you know, trying to make something off of that trying to apply to myself, apply to my businesses and, um, you know, growing in general. Um, other things that I've been doing is, um, reading books. So one book that, um, so actually, okay, I don't read books, but I do have audible and, um, that's what I've been doing. I've been uh, listening to, um, I've listened to a bunch of books and uh, I can't even pull it up right now. But if you guys want to um, see a list of book recommendations, I'm going to leave that in the links below. Sign up with Audible if you haven't yet, and you can get two free credits. And with those free credits, you can buy two books. On a side note, this is why you cannot rely on AdSense from YouTube. So I just so they just implemented a new monetization plan where you can tell them exactly if your video is monetizable or not. And um, I made this video today and I'm trying to post this today and now I'm getting limited limited ads. 
and I don't put that many ads in my videos. I have like two to three at the most. My videos are pretty short, only 10 minutes long, 15 minutes long at the most. And um, it really helps out. Like that money actually helps really uh, support the channel, support me as well. Um, it's become substantial by this point. Um, I'm, I can't lie, you know, I'm making, last year I made probably 50,000. This year, if I push it hard enough, I could potentially make, you know, 100,000 if I push it hard. But, you know, I got a day job and I got side businesses that I have to work at. And this is just something I'm trying to grow slowly. But yeah, this, this does not help at all. Especially right now, I can only pump out like four videos a week. I mean, four videos a month. If I was pumping out 30 videos a month, like financial education, man, that guy is... Dude, if you guys think making videos is easy, you guys would do it, but um, it is not easy. So right now I'm giving you a real behind the scenes on how difficult it can be to, uh, to run a YouTube channel and social media business. So right now this podcast is completely up in the air for the main stuff that I really wanna talk about. Um, so I need recommendations, guys. Hit me up in the comments below what questions you want me to a ask what questions you want me to answer, what guests that you want me to, you know, try to get on. I've become like kind of friends with some YouTubers out there. And uh, if I can get them on the podcast, I will get them on the podcast and try to get some uh, more value for you guys. Because, you know, a lot of the people on the financial space, we all say the same thing. All right. It's only like three fundamental rules of investing. Make more money save more money and with all the money that you save, invest as much of it as pos as you possibly can. Those are the basic three rules. And if you can follow that, then, you know, you're gonna be most likely successful. Like I've done that hardcore for like the last two years and, you know, I've seen my net worth jump up by a lot. Like I'm not gonna give you guys my net worth, but it is up there. It is, um, you know, I'm not part of the 99 percent. Am I? I? I wouldn't even know. Let, let's take a look at that. When you zero in on the United States, the threshold to be the top 1% of earners can can vary significantly by region. To be the among the top 1% in America in 2015, you need a minimum household income of five $400,000 before taxes, according to um, EPI. So definitely, I do not, I'm not an 1% income earner. I make a lot less than that, but it is in the three figures. Um, I have to really, I can't, I need a, I need a young Jamie right now so I can uh, figure out how much uh, net worth the 1% has. 1% in America. Here we go. Here is the other, the top 1% of households net worth starts at 1% at 10 million net worth for the top 10% starts with 1 million, 1.1 million for, oh my God. For the top 0.1%, it is 40 million. All right, that shows exactly where I stand. And uh, that is incredible. For, any, for anybody that's watching that's just getting into finance, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be a millionaire and uh, I think that's why there's so many gurus out there. I'm not a guru. I, like, I never considered myself a guru. I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. But I know how to save money. I know how to make more money by doing side hustles and improving my businesses, stuff like that. So that's the information that I share. Um, guru type vibe. Like I hopefully I'm not giving you that. And um, I think that's why I'm getting a lot more subscribers on YouTube because I'm not a guru and I'm not pushing out that type of um, information and that type of feeling. Because sometimes if you if you told me you're a finance guru, like I'll probably just look at you sideways and be like, for real, dude. Um, those guys, they make money from, you know, selling courses and stuff like that. I would love to sell a course and make hundred, like, you know, a million dollars. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shy away from that, but right now I just don't have the ability to do that, and um, I'm not gonna sell I'm not gonna sell out my audience, uh, tell telling telling everybody to buy a course, 
just because like I want to make an extra X amount of money. But, you know, that is, uh, you know, that is up there in the future. Maybe if I can um, partner up with somebody or, you know, something along that line so that, that they can help me produce like the highest quality type of content and um, in terms of courses, definitely I will make a course for you guys because I've been asked already like, yo, can you make a real estate investing course? Can you make dividend investing course? Because it's actually a lot easier to make a course, send it out to somebody, you know, it's all well packaged. You know, you don't have to go all over the place to look for information. You can just, you know, go to one place, boom, all the information is there. And that is definitely an option and um, I have seriously considered it. But right now, I'm just trying to grow on YouTube. I'm just trying to get my name out there and, uh, you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. So like I was saying earlier, this channel can go all over the place right now. And um, I'm just trying to get this channel monetized. So hit me up with as much content as possible. It's a lot easier for me to do this type of content than um, on the Bruce Wayne content. So any specific questions you want answered, put them in the comments below and um, I'll go over every single comment and I'll answer every single one, basically, in the next, in the next uh, podcast. Yeah, sounds good. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna watch more videos from me, check out these videos here. Support the channel, like the, like the, like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit the notification to get notified for the next one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you.